I'd like to talk a little bit about a picture that I shot. The uh, picture that probably has brought you to this website, WeDon'tKnowTheStars.com, or the picture that will hopefully bring you to WeDon'tKnowTheStars.com. Uh, this picture is the first picture that's being sold and posted on WeDon'tKnowTheStars.com. Um, it's been about two years in the making. I am fascinated and I love shooting the Milky Way in the night sky and I try and go to the darkest places that I can to do that. And I have wanted for the past about two years a picture like this of the Milky Way arcing over a f giant field of marijuana plants. Um, that has proven to be a somewhat difficult goal because people don't just want to lead you to their marijuana plants. Surprise, surprise. Um, with that, we uh, brings me to last summer, where I went to Colorado, visited my father, and he was growing a couple plants at his place. And we had one, this plant, Grumbling Gregory, and uh, it was the smallest of the bunch, and we loaded it up into the back seat of our rental car and drove to the mountains to take this picture. Um, drove to uh, Taylor Park, Colorado, central Colorado in the mountains. Uh, I've been there before a couple times. It's very dark, and I knew that that was somewhere I could camp and shoot, and it was going to be clear, so that's where we went. Uh, I've got to say that driving down the highway with the road and passing police officers with a big plant in the back seat is a little unnerving, but it is legal in Colorado, which is strange to think about, but pretty awesome. Uh, so let's get to this picture. Um, I was at my friend's house the other day, I had given him this picture to hang on his wall, and uh, I was there and a couple different people saw it, and nobody thinks that it's a real picture. They don't think that it's real, they don't think that it's actually a picture that could just be drawn or computer generated, but that's why I'm making this video. I want to uh, explain to you guys that these that it is, this is a real picture, um, depending on how you want to use the, def the definition of the word picture. It is a, uh, it's a composite picture. It is two different photographs taken with the camera s sitting still on a tripod, and uh, they're stuck together. The reason I'd have to do that is because it's not possible to shoot certain things in focus or different exposures at the same time with the way cameras work. Um, so let me show you, so you obviously you can see the final product, let me show you the two pictures from beforehand. So this is the original picture of the plant. Um, there's an original. Oops. Uh, so this is the original picture of the plant. I uh, originally had issues with getting this shot. Uh, generally I shoot the Milky Way with 24 millimeter lens and that was what I strapped to the camera to start trying to shoot this plant. Uh, turns out that the 24mm lens has a hyperfocal point too far away, which was not letting me get much of the plant in focus um, and be able to light it up with at the, at the aperture I needed to also capture the Milky Way. So, I had to switch to a wider lens, which is not my dedicated... So the 24 is my dedicated star lens. I had to switch to the 17-35, to which is wider, so it allowed me to get more in focus. But it is not a dedicated. It's not my dedicated star lens. Um, it actually happens to just be sitting right here. Uh, this is the lens that I used to shoot these pictures. Uh, very wide angle lens, uh, especially on a full frame camera. This was shot on D610, um, and this is a 17 to 35 2.8. So this picture, the camera is very close to the plant, almost in the plant, with some of the bottom of the plant actually touching the camera on the tripod. Um, and had to light paint it in with the flash and uh, and the flashlight and that was also proof a little bit problematic because we had the ambient light of the campfire going so I had to, to knock the fire down and uh, just light up the plant. So the other shot because as you can see how the stars here 
the plant is in focus. You get nice crisp leaves and lines here, but the stars are just blur. So that's because the focus right now is on the plant. The camera's focused on the plant. In order for me to get a picture of the stars, I take a picture of the stars with the focus on the stars. Now, when I got home from uh, Taylor, it was it was a long night and drove all through the night and then went to Mount Evans for a 14,000 foot uh, sunrise and then got back home and started working on this picture. Originally, the plan was just going to be cut a line about right here, stick it in in Photoshop, layer mask this in, boom, both pieces of the picture attached to each other, uh, and that would have been that. Uh, I want to say that even though you can't see the plant here, it is there. It's just there was no light being cast on it, so you can't see it. Uh, but what happened when I made that first merge, as I was tired and just working on it to get it done, uh, I was also working on my laptop, 13-inch screen, which is very tiny, and I couldn't tell, but there was a line going through, right the line where I merged the two. The blacks were different, because I had the blacks in the pictures were different. So that was it became apparent when we printed the shot at FedEx just to see what it looked like, and there's a big line across the middle. So that was a problem. Uh, and that kind of tabled the picture for a little bit. Got back home to Florida, and uh, semester's been starting up, so I was busy, and then I had a photo shoot which was a modeling photo shoot, and uh, I normally don't do much work in Photoshop, but that led me to uh, borrowing a Wacom tablet. So that's what this is, this is the pen for it, which allows you to get very detailed in the picture and control the brush strokes with your hand, which is much nicer than doing it with the tip of your finger. That opened up the door for me to a uh, lot more editing possibilities, which would let this this composite work as it needs to, to to display the finished product. So, what I had to do is this is this is we're now in Photoshop. You can see this is the sky layer. So if I make this layer go away, you have just the plant and the out of focus stars. If I bring the star layer back, I've got my stars. So what I did is I wanted this mountain line to be nice and crisp, unlike it is here. So that's kind of blurry, you can't really see it because the focus isn't on it. Here the focus is at infinity, so that, is, that mountain line is nice and crisp. So come in, and I layer masked all of the not true black away. And I brought in the black from the mountain layer of the darkness where there was no light. And I am not very proficient with Photoshop, so this was my first endeavor at something like this. But uh, bring it in. It's This pen allows you to get such fine control. And you can go all the way in. And the 27-inch monitor makes everything so much easier. So I just went all the way in. And uh, I'm actually going to go over a couple of spots that I missed with the layer mask brush, or the brush in a layer mask. So, if I paint in things white, then they come back. If I paint things black, they go away. Look at that. Magic. So let's get rid of some stuff here. Just a couple extra pixels that I don't need printed. And uh, this, this is really, this is what I've done to this picture uh, to make it the way that you see it. The, the two layers are the stars and the plant. And that's the layer mask. Um, you can see where I made the background invisible for the plant to shine through. Back. Cool. So this is really what I wanted to show you guys. Just to answer the is it really a photograph question, the answer is yes, it is a photo. It is two photos. They are stuck together. 
There's no fancy Photoshop trickery. This plant was brought into the mountains, uh, lived indoors its whole life until it was brought out here. Uh, got to about 40 degrees that night in July, and uh, it died because of that trip, because of the temperature, because of the light cycle changes. It, uh, it did not continue to live on its full potential of life. And uh, the picture was a success, despite the death of the plant. I, I look forward to taking more pictures of weed under the stars. And uh, stay tuned for more. Buy a picture.